Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. This is day three of our fearless um, devotion. Today we're going to be talking about honesty and talking about in acts with Ananias and Sapphira. Uh, join me to watch my kids engage in worship and the devotion and let's have fun. Alright guys, so today we took our lesson outside. Uh-huh. And it's so because it's fun. not too hot. The shade is perfect. Got a little breeze. The Bible show on the TV did not have a lesson for this. So this is gonna be a little shorter. But we get to be outside. So it works out. And can we play after the lesson? <clears throat> Maybe. After so what have we been talking about? Fearless. Being fearless. Okay, our house. And what are our five characteristics to become fearless? Courage. Courage. Have love. 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 Mm -hmm. Faith, honesty, and trust. Oh, okay, you just took us home with all those. <laughs> hey, I see my door. I know. Are you listening? But my house. So we're talking about fe being fearless, remember? So today, we are doing honesty. Yay. Yay. So we did courage. And faith already. Yeah. Now we're doing honesty. <clears throat> then we're gonna do love. Okay. So, what is honesty? Wesley, do you know what honesty is? What is it? Um, deep. Oh. That's manners. Good job. Um, uh, telling the truth. Telling the truth. What were you gonna say? Is that what you're gonna say? Hmm. Um, honesty is when if you. Might still get in trouble if you did something wrong, but it won't be as bad. As bad. Because you still have to lie. correct the wrong. But I like the example. It's a good example. <clears throat> Is it ever okay to tell a lie? Definitely not. No. No. Not not even if I asked you did you brush your teeth and you told me yes, but you didn't. Is that okay? No. Mm, no. I brushed my teeth. I know. I see the toothpaste on your mouth. Cassie, yeah, I, I saw just, him cover. What if I asked? Cassie, what if I asked you if you went potty before we left the house, and you said yes, and then we get to the road and you tell me you have to go potty? Is that okay? No, probably not. Um, Gabe, what if I told you to go to bed, and you took Legos to your bed, and so I went in there and said, hey, I hear something. Do you have Legos in your bed? And you told me no. Is that okay? No. Sophie, if I asked you if you had your remote for your TV in your bed and you told me no, but then I went in there and I found it, was it okay to tell me no? Mm -mm. Hey, Wesley, what if I asked you if you took Bubba's Lego and you told me no, but you, but you had it in your hand? Is that okay? No, it's not okay. It's not okay to tell a lie. So today we're going to read Acts 5, 1 through 11, and it's talking about two people, <clears throat> uh, Ananias and Sapphira, or Sapphira, whatever, Mama, however you want to say it. One of my bookmarks are down there. That's okay. And so it's Acts 5, 1 through 11, so I'm going to read that to you. A man named Ananias and his wife Sapphira also sold some land. He kept part of the money for himself. Mama, you got a dress? I did. Sapphira knew he had kept it. He brought the rest of it and put it down at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, why did you let Satan fill your heart? He made you light of the Holy Spirit. You've kept some of the money you received for land. <clears throat> Didn't the land belong to you before it was sold? After it was sold, you could have used the money as you as you wish. You made what made you think of doing such thing? You haven't lied to the people. You haven't just lied to the people. You have also lied to God. Mom, they sound, most of them sound like a girl name. Kind of, yeah. But they just had some different names back then. Yeah, they were kind of Jewish. All right. I'm going to keep going. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. All who heard what had happened were filled with fear. 
Some young men came and wrapped up his body. They carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife of Ananias came in. She I didn't know what had happened. Peter, Mama, I heard something. It's, it's a bug. It's a locust. Peter asked her, tell me, is this the price you and Ananias sold for the land? Yes, she said, that's the price. Peter asked her, how no, could you people. agree to test the spirit of the land? The Mama, spirit people. of the Lord. Okay. Listen, you can hear the steps of the men who buried your husband. They are, they are at the door. They will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at Peter's feet and died. Then the young man came in. They saw that Sapphira was dead. So they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. The whole church and all who heard about those things were filled with fear. But how did that, that happen? Like, how did you That's what we're going to talk down? about. Exactly. So, That's weird. It said mm -hmm. that... <clears throat> Ananias and Sapphira went to take money that from land <coughs> that he had sold. He went and took some of it to be to to give to like tithe on, like mummy and I do every every week. They take money and they give back to the Lord God because be God sore. blessed you to work. God be so that money. Is only um no it's not dark Bubba. It's only right for him to have some of the money that he blessed me move, right? So they went to take some money, but it said that he hid some of the money. He kept some of it at home and his wife knew about it. So he didn't take the whole amount to the to Peter. He only took a little bit. And then Peter asked him, he gave him the chance. He was like is this all that you made? This is all that you have? And he said yes. Knowing he had money at home. And Jesus knows too. <clears throat> and Jesus knows when you lie. So he knew that wasn't all the money. He oh, I get it now. Jesus. He lied so he died. He lied so he died. He lied about the money that he brought to Jesus. Yeah, he was he... trying to be selfish and greedy and keep all of it. When if he would have just given all that he had to the Lord... He, he would have been blessed. To the church. That's, that's like the same thing. To the church. <clears throat> he would have been blessed. Because he would have told the truth. He would have gave it all. But he lied. He, straight, he looked Peter in the eye when Peter said, Hey, is this all of it? He's like, yep, that's it. Straight face, nothing. Didn't even care. And boom. Dead. Same with uh, Strike wife. dead. I've had the opportunity to redeem herself and tell the truth. So God gave them two chances, and both of them blew it. So they both died because they lied. Now you're not actually gonna die if you lie, okay? Yeah, that was just back then. <clears throat> that was back then. No, I, didn't I lied a bunch of times. But oh, there's ants. You will get in trouble, yeah. and that's the same thing. Like they died because they were in trouble, right? Uh -huh. But you won't die when you. Well, I guess it depends on the situation. Yeah. That one was back then when they had to pay taxes. Well, we do oh, pay taxes now, too. Mama. You just don't see it because your children, adults, pay taxes. By bills. Well, there's tax on everything. Bills, taxes on homes, taxes on land. Toys. Taxes on Mom. gas. Toys. There's lots of taxes. That's why when we take you to the store and we tell you, hey, it's this much, but you need to make sure you have at least $2 extra to count the taxes, right? One. All right, so the story of Ananias and Sapphira tells us just how important honesty is to God. Being honest is even among the Ten Commandments. You remember that? Yep. We just read that the other day. Yeah, it has it in the Bible. Mm-hmm. The Ten Commandments. It says, thou shalt not lie, I think. It says that. Mm -hmm. Does it say that in yours? Is that yeah, how it says it? it? It's fine. We'll find it later. It's Mom, there's another hand. Okay. Did I get it? <clears throat> I can find it. Can I have to daddy treat the yard? Why do you think it is very important to always be honest? So you don't get in trouble as much. So you don't get in trouble? So you don't get butt whoopings. <laughs> so you don't get butt whoopings? What about if being honest makes you, it keeps your character in check, which means. And it earns privileges. Which, hold on. Honesty keeps your character in check, which means. If you're honest all the time, when someone asks you something, you won't even think about telling a lie. You'll just automatically tell them the truth and not worry about it. 
Okay, so what does the Bible say? We read about Ananias and Sapphira and how their dishonesty cost them. But what else does the Bible say about being honest? Well, in Proverbs 12, 22, we learn that lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they, but they that deal truly are his delight. <clears throat> God delights in honesty. It's saying, that was saying that, it's a bug. It's saying that God does not like it when you lie. It breaks his heart. It makes him sad. He may even cry a little bit. Because he wants you to be honest. He knows the truth already. And he wants you to tell the truth. Because when you lie, you're not hurting anyone but yourself. Mama. You might hurt relationships you have with other people if you keep on lying. And God. It hurts your relationship with God because God gets really sad and he hurts for you. He wants you to be honest all the time because he loves you. When you are honest in all things, people know they can trust you. They will trust you. To They will trust what you have to say. All it takes is one lie to change that. Once you lie to someone, you break that trust. Trust is something that once is broken, it's hard to repair. And y'all have heard me say that. Y'all have lied about a bunch of times to me. And then when you tell me the truth, I look at you and I say, well, how do I know that's true? You've lied to me so many times. I don't know what to believe. Yeah. That's what that's what I mean. Like, even if you lie one time and the same thing Mama. happens and you tell the truth, I'm going to be like, Stop. I don't know if I believe you, though. Stop. Mama. Sit down. Mama. Mama. I love you. Mama. What? Yeah. So does that make sense? Like when y'all lie and then the next time you tell me the truth, I'm like, I don't know if I can believe you because you already lied to me once. So you broke my trust. Mama. Which means I can't, so that means I can't trust you. Mama. And trust is a really big thing you need Mama. in relationships. Mama. Mama. Wesley, stop. Mama. One time Sophie kept on saying sorry and I didn't believe in her. Mama. Sometimes that happens because sometimes people say Mama. sorry. We do it every time. Okay, listen. Listen. Mama. Yes. Uh-huh. Sometimes people say sorry a bunch of times and you get like Cassie gets where she's like, I don't know if I believe you because she's heard it so many times that it's just like a I've word. Heard it twice. Okay. I'm Brooke just and Okay, it. listen. You gotta listen to my point. If someone says sorry a whole bunch of times for the like repeat offenses which means like they've lied about something or they've hurt you and they say i'm sorry i'll never do it again and then they do it again they say i'm sorry i'll never do it again they do it again and say i'm sorry i'll never do it again you start thinking yeah i don't believe you because at that point it's just a word so that they can keep on going right god knows it is important for us to be honest with each other which is why he highlighted it in so many different verses and made it one of the ten commandments why do you think honesty is so important to God? Because um, if you don't be honest, you might go somewhere bad. Like in hell. Yeah, I guess so. Got to not to say that word. She used it correctly. It's okay. Yeah. I'll put this up. Not yet. Please. Li- nope. Listen. Look, we got an activity to do. You got to listen now. Keep going. Anything else? Mama. Not yet. Oh, Just a minute. We're going to color the... Okay, I need y'all to keep on listening. Keep on listening. Yeah. What were you saying, Sophie? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to draw my... Hmm. Sophie. I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to do a little thing called Think About It. If you found out one of your friends lied to you, how would that make you feel? Please raise your hand. Okay. If you found out one of your friends lied to you, how would that make you feel? Sad and mad. Sad and mad. Uh, so 
Wesley, mm -hmm. listen, angry, sad, and upset. Why? Because they lied to you, just figured out if they lied to you, and they never said sorry, or they didn't apologize, and they lied to you. Mm -hmm. so. Or they lied to you, and you're like, I thought we were friends. Why yeah. do you lie? You probably wouldn't feel very good about it, and might question if they're being honest in the future. When you lie to your friends or family, they are feeling the same way about you. Hey, Mama, you said what, um, Oh, yeah? We all make mistakes, but God wants us to confess honesty. I've got one over there. What we have done instead of restoring, right. resorting to lies. The consequences of what you have done aren't as bad as those of if you get caught lying. Hey, listen, listen. Philip, Philip. How do you think you can begin to rebuild trust after a lie? Philip. No. How can you rebuild trust after a lie? Start telling the truth. Tell the truth always. Okay. Okay, you're not listening. You're playing. How can you restore trust after a lie? I was gonna say something. Something you already um, said something. Okay, hold on. Well, telling the truth. And start telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Gabe, okay. what's your thing? And there's this really cool word that you need to say, okay? So, like, if you lie and you need to build trust, you have to do things to get their trust back, like being faithful, being truthful, being honest. And then when you apologize, it goes the extra mile to say, I'm sorry I lied to you. Will you please forgive me? That word forgive. It, means, it doesn't mean they forget Mama. what you did. It means that they forgive you for what you Mama. did. Daddy, thank you. Mm -hmm. I try to use it times mm -hmm. with you and Dad. Yep. Then I forget to say it. Mm -hmm. Mama. What? What, Kathy? I was going to say something before it comes. Okay, what were you going to say? I forgot. Okay. Well, everyone's going to get a bookmark. Like. With our memory verse on it. Like everything. It says, but that one, but that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Luke 8, 15. Gabe, already put yours in your Bible because I used your Bible today. West to stop. But I put it in where it says Luke 8, 15. Hey, this is for you. Hold it. Just a minute on this. The ones that are highlighted is honest and good heart and... Mm -hmm. so that's our memory verse. Okay. But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Luke 8, 15. So honest, good heart, and patience. patience. <clears throat> and there's one more thing I want to share with you. It's really cool. So Thomas Jefferson has this really cool quote. Thomas Jefferson is from like a long time ago, okay? He was a president. What were you going to say? You forgot. He was really cool dude, right? And, um... Bossy, give me... Give me He gave it to that king sister. And he said, Honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. That's what he said. Honesty is the first chapter no, in the book of wisdom. So what... What's the book of wisdom? The Bible. 
Well, the Bible is a good book of wisdom. But, um, so today I want y'all, I want every one of y'all to color this piece of paper together. Like, each of you color a little bit of it. And we'll hang it up in the house. And then, for our, um, craft today, we are making superhero masks to go with our superhero shield. I already cut them out. And I glue them on a piece of paper that match your shield color that you put on the back of your shield. Mine's black. Mine is so what you're going to do, I've already hole punched them and I glued them. Mine is And y'all are going to color these however you like to. And then later I'll put a string on them. No, color it this way. Color it this way? Yeah. The black facing? Mm-hmm. Mama, thank you for yellow. All right, so what did we learn about today? This thing. Honesty. Uh, honesty. And how, what are you supposed to, what does honesty mean? Like, what do you need to do? Yeah. What does honesty mean? Uh-huh. To listen. Yeah. No. What does honesty mean? Um, honest. Honesty, honesty. means, uh, What does honesty mean? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. There we go. There's that word. It means for us to tell the truth and to not lie because Jesus' heart breaks every time we lie. And so does mommy's heart. When you lie to me or to someone else, it makes me disappointed. And I get upset and I'm like, I really wish you would have told the truth. Because when we tell the truth, we get to do... All the things. When we lie, we get things taken away, right? Mama, I told the truth. That said, um, do you have Legos in my in your bed? And I did. Good. All right. So y'all can your crayons. Y'all can color those, and then we'll take them inside. And then I guess since it's pretty nice outside, we can go play. Yay! I gotta find the rainbow color so that. Thank you for joining me for day three of Fearless with Honesty. I hope that you had a good time. You can join me for the rest of the two days on, for Thursday and Friday to finish out our lessons with the, the Fearless series. Thank you.